Let's look for a minute at the Medicaid program in the U.S. Medicaid is a large public program that covers people with incomes on the lower end of the distribution and ends up covering quite a few people. It was designed to meet the needs of a group that was often not well served by private insurance offered mainly through employers. Technically, Medicaid is a separate program in every state, operated by the state government, though the programs are partly funded and also partly overseen by the federal government. There are major similarities across the states because of the federal oversight and funding, but each state still has control over the program, and so you'll see differences from one state to another. Medicaid is funded by tax revenue. People eligible for Medicaid can sign up for it with minimal or often no premiums, and it has pretty generous coverage with a broad range of doctor and hospital services, prescription drugs, and other things covered, and for the most part, with low patient cost sharing. In fact, Medicaid is one of the only main health insurance sources that includes long-term care in its covered benefits. Medicaid offers two main plan designs. The main form is traditional Medicaid, the original design dating back to 1965, with traditional coverage. But while this still exists, it's declining and not in use all that much anymore. Nowadays, most people with Medicaid coverage are in what we call Medicaid managed care, in which state Medicaid programs either operate managed care plans, often HMO designs themselves, or they contract with private insurers to operate the plans and, and enroll Medicaid recipients. When they contract with private insurers, they make an arrangement with the insurers and in essence work out a premium to pay for Medicaid recipients to enroll in the private plans. An important challenge with Medicaid over the years has been limited funding, and as a result, limited pay for the providers who take care of Medicaid patients, which has sometimes been a criticism and a political challenge for Medicaid. Another challenge for Medicaid is that the limits for eligibility vary from one state to another. For a variety of reasons, some states have imposed quite low cutoffs so that even some people with very low incomes are ineligible for coverage. Other states have higher cutoffs. A result is that it's successful at meeting its goal of covering low-income populations to different degrees in different places, which can raise some concerns. Medicaid can offer us a good example of a public intermediary and its operation. It has to seek to keep its various constituencies happy, and it works to do that. Some of its greatest issues appear to stem from challenges in raising sufficient funds for public programs in complex fiscal and political environments, particularly when a public program serves a sub-part of the population that has limitations in its political power. So there's a bit of an overview of Medicaid, one of the interesting public intermediaries in the U.S.